hello guys welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will look at how to make leader stats on your roblox game i got too many questions from you guys that you got problem and also i forgot add to script i added before but later i just changed all of my videos description so i guess i just delete the script i just want to show you how to make exactly a professional leader stats in this video i will show you every steps so let's get started so you see the leader stats it shows my coins and gems and also walk speed so if you guys saw before walk speed every second plus one game on roblox like most of players are playing that game so also you will learn how to make walk speed plus one every one second so let's get started all right so first of all open a script in server script service so click on plus button and add a new script so here let's make a function called local function on player added so first and first let's make a variable called leader stat or leader stats and equal to instance dot new and make a folder right and here make leader stats dot name equal to leader stats so just copy your leader stat local variable and here write leader stats dot parent of player equal to player and let's make also this player like this so now we have leader stats and let's add objects to our leader stats like coins equal to instance that new which this will be int value integer value and here let's say coins dot name and you can show just the name of the coins like this or any leader stats you want to add on your project and write coins that value by default it should be zero and coins parent equal to leader stats all right so let's just test first of all let's see how it look like all right uh, we forgot to run our function so just simply go under local function write game dot just write game dot players dot player added connect function and just write your function name on player added so now it should just show the coin leader stat but it should be one parenthesis here so let's run again all right it shows now perfectly it's working so let's add new value on leader stats i will just do copy paste here and change coins to whatever you want to add on your game for example let's say money and int value also here make it money like this and just save your project and run again you will see the new leader stats added all right so but how to make show both of coins and money uh same time so for doing this all right so we can see both of coins and money together i guess just we forgot to change these names here we should change coins to money like this and now it should show both of them yeah it shows both of them now correctly it's working so if you remember on beginning of the video i showed you how to make plus one after one second on your walk speed every one second we should run faster so just simply i will show you also that so let's go back to script and here just i will add walk speed so again just do copy paste here for walk speed and change the money name to walk speed and do copy paste for the names now we add it but how to make plus one every one second 
All right, so let's make a function for every second plus one. So write local function, increase walk speed, and write while true do, wait one second, and write walk speed of value equal to walk speed dot value plus one and under that function write already dot wrap and write increase walk speed all right so we are ready but just we need to add few things so first of all I will just add my code here to make video faster and my s is small all right here i just say walk speed dot changed connect function new value player character wait for child humanoid on walk speed if you run your project you will see on workspace we just add my character here so click on humanoid and on properties just scroll down you will see walk speed all right, so we will update this from using this code. And last link, we will count the user with for loop every user added on the game. So write for player in I pairs game players get players do on player added. All right, so now we are ready. Just stop your project and run it again. So we will see our walk speed. But still not shows. Uh, I guess we forgot to add something here. Let's check quickly. All right, guys. I just found my problem. We should add function parentheses here on the end of coroutine wrap increase walk speed. So let's test now. It should work. Yeah, it's counting our walk speed. So you see just it is really really slow and now it's being fast you will see we can run now all right it works so we are being fast and we also see real time updating the walk speed value on leader stats all right guys so i hope this will help you all of you guys so let me know if you have any problem with this code also write comments any questions you have i will make tutorial for you to fix your issue so see you in next one